Hey, once again, I'm at the Logitech Experience Center here in London, next to Bank Station. I'm gonna show you something new and something cool. Stay tuned. Right, so over in this area, we've got the newest member of the Rally Bar family. It's the Rally Bar Huddle. You can see it's quite small in size. It's 55 centimeters, uh, so quite a lot narrower than the Rally Bar Rally Bar Mini. Uh, the Rally Bar tops at it, I think it's 72 centimeters wide. And now let's explore some of the capabilities. So a couple of uh, things while I'm at the front. You can see that it comes in graphite. If I were to just grab this, you can see I can pop the cover off. It just has a couple of magnetic connections here to, to keep the cover on. The front cover is actually interchangeable. It comes in graphite, but you can buy a white or off-white version. You can also buy a wipe clean version, which is great for those uh, environments where you need something wipe clean. Medical or, or also, you know, something for children, nurseries, schools, that sort of thing. You can see dotted about, you've got some microphone elements uh, dotted around. It's got the same microphone array as the Rally Bar Rally Bar Mini, which means in an acoustically treated room, it's good for seven meters of mic pickup. It's got a single speaker, but it's a ported speaker. You can just see underneath, you've got that, that kind of tunnel port there. Uh, that means that uh, you got some extra oomph. Uh, Logitech say the Rally Bar Huddle is twice as loud as the Meetup. For a reminder what the Meetup is, just come over here, that's the Meetup. So twice as loud as the Meetup, which means it's good for filling those smaller rooms with audio from corner to corner. Another thing to point out here, this little Logi logo actually is a lens cover. So if I were just to start a meet now on this bar, then you can see the lens cover pops across and reveals that single camera. Now it is a single camera, but it's a 4K sensor and it's got really good image processing behind the scenes, uh, which means it's actually capable of doing all the same things as Rally Bar Rally Bar Mini. Those that are familiar know about Right Sight 2, which includes group framing. It also has speaker view and grid view. Uh, what's unique about the Rally Bar Huddle is thanks to the image processing and the processor inside, is that it can do those things with just that single lens. Rally Bar Rally Bar Mini needs that AI viewfinder to help uh, frame and capture and tell that main camera where to go. Whereas this has an, an ultra wide, 120 degree field of view on that 4K sensor, which means we can digitally crop, zoom, and do what we, what we want to do with that image in those smaller spaces. Now, if we pop around the back, you can see a couple of unique things. So one is, of course, uh, the same as the Rally Bar, Rally Bar Mini, is it's got this removable cover for cable management. All the ports are, uh, are in the side there and the cables there go up through these purple fins and then do a, a little right turn and then plug in the side. What we do is we cover this so that people can't prize those cables off and, and maybe walk away with the, the technology. The other thing while we're here, as you can see here, this is what we call the multi-mount. The multi-mount is actually included in the box. And right now this is configured for a TV mount. So you just adjust a few hinges and away you go. It actually has a 3M sticker where you can actually stick it permanently to a display so it keeps it nice and secure. And then it attaches to the bar with a single tripod mount up through the center with a little locating hole to make sure it's nice and straight. It also has a hinge on the front bit where you can actually adjust the, the angle of attack effect, effectively of the bar as it's in situ. This same multi-mount can be folded in and kind of moved around to, to make it a wall mount suitable for above or below the displays. And when it's completely folded, but still attached, it's also suitable for mounting on a table, a shelf, a credenza, that sort of thing. It's got these rubberized feet here to make sure it doesn't slip around. And of course, if you really wanted to, you could uh, drill, th drill some holes, uh, put some screws in to keep it uh, uh, permanently attached to that credenza shelf or whatever it is you need to attach it to. You'll also note uh, some eagle-eyed people here. We've got these here, so on both sides. Um, while we include this multi-mount in the box, it's suitable for you know wall mounting above or below a display, a table mount, or mounting to a TV. But if you want to mount it below a display, which is on a trolley, for instance, then that's where you need our TV mount. 
So rather than coming up with a new TV mount that um, attached to the center here, we just included these little dimples and uh, thumb screw holes to attach to the existing mounts that we have in our range for the Rally Bar Rally Bar Mini. So the TV mount that has those two uh, little arms underneath that attach to the bottom, you just put those thumb screws in and keep it in place, but also the wall mount, so the existing Rally Bar wall mount. So that's great. If you've already got uh, Logitech equipment in your room, maybe you've got a Rally Bar Mini, but you want to repurpose that in another space and then uh, put this in instead for that smaller space, You rather than um, readjust and take that mount that's already there away, you can just pop this on the existing mount and start using the room straight away and then move that Rally Bar to another space. So great for that sustainability message we like to pride ourselves on. So as you can see, that image quality is quite good. You just saw it actually zooming in on me or actually group framing, if you like. Uh, I'm the only one here, so it's actually trying to get that really good shot of just me. So even if I move for... So even if I move further away, I can't get that far away, you know, and stay in the same space. So let's just go over here. There you go. It is actually just... Uh, readjusting and group framing me as I'm the active talker using the microphone array on the front. Uh, Rally Bar Huddle is suitable for smaller spaces up to about six people or thereabouts so it's perfect for those little huddle spaces hence the name. And just like the other CollabOS devices in the Logitech range it runs Teams rooms as you can see here but also Zoom, uh, Ring Central, and some others but the other great thing about Logitech devices is that it also runs as a USB device. So if you're a Teams rooms or a Zoom room on Windows uh, kind of company, you can do that. You can just plug this in as a USB device, uh, deploy it in what we call BYOD mode, and it just plugs into that Windows uh, compute, and you can use this as the audio and video in the room. Now, if you haven't hung your hat on any platform, so if you're not using Teams or Zoom or anything else, you can just run this in, as a standalone AV soundbar. You could use this on a on an ultra wide monitor for a personal um, AV soundbar if you really wanted to. Uh, you could run it in a small room, but you know just leave cables on the table for users to connect their laptop and uh, join the meeting of their preference. So Rally Bar Huddle is uh, certified for Microsoft Teams as of last week, and it will be shipping very, very soon. So if you have those huddle spaces you want to use as all-in-one soundbars in, something simple to deploy. So whether you've got a touchscreen on a trolley here or a touchscreen mounted to a wall, or whether you want to use this with uh, the Logitech Tap IP, uh, you can absolutely do that. Right, so as good as video demos are, if you really want to see this thing in person, contact your account manager or your SE and get down to your local experience center and experience this in action. Right, thanks very much. Catch you in the next video.